Day 38, Duplication Magic Part 2. This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Bachelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. On day 11, we had our part one episode of Duplication Magic. If you have not heard it, I definitely recommend going back to it. It had several keys to getting duplication and starting people in a manner in which duplication can and is most favorable to occur in your organization. It is, you know, a fundamental that if you're missing it, you're going to work, you know, 10 times harder to get the same results or uh, you know, five times harder to get half the results or however you want to look at it. So go back and listen to day 11. It is very, very, very vital for you to understand that information. If you understand it 90% or missing one element of it, you still may be cutting your, 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 uh, results, uh, significantly down from what you could, could occur. And, you know, you want to reach your dreams. You want to reach your goals. You want, uh, everything you do to bear fruit so that you're not wasting energy, time, or money to get your team built. You want everything to be as fruitful and fun and productive as possible. So go back and listen to day 11. However, day part two now, which is day 38, is a, they're both self-standing trainings, but they complement one another, but it's a completely different aspect to getting duplication. In fact, if anything, today's uh, episode is probably even more critical than day 11, although they're both, um, very, very, very vital. So getting duplication, you know, have you ever brought in people, five, 10, 20 people, and maybe even more than that in your, on your total team. And yet it's not really growing like it should. It's like you're drudging it out and drudging it out and nothing has happened yet. Well, that could be just you need to put a few more in because there is a moment in time when you have enough people coming on in your group and you achieve enough momentum that things just sort of naturally start to blossom and accelerate. However, if you're missing today's element, you could put in hundreds of people and unless you just are pure by chance, bring in somebody that knows this, your team's not going to grow. So if you have a, an organization that, that, that blossoms, maybe because you brought in somebody who's a center of influence and they bring in a bunch of people and then it slows down again, it's simply because this is the basic element that's being missed. See, at some point, you can't just keep on bringing on leaders and leaders and leaders and they bring in their following because their following is limited. At some point, the growth stops and slowly goes backwards. See, because you're building on recruiting centers of influence, which is a good idea, but that can't be your system because that has limits to it and you're never getting duplication. You're never getting an organization that's going to keep growing on its own. At some point, they're going to be getting out nearly as fast as they get in, if not faster, even as you bring in leaders because those leaders, if you're not building on a process that duplicates, your growth will eventually slow or stop or go backwards. So if you don't understand today, you're never going to have a long-term growing organization that gets into those thousands of tens of thousands or greater in number. You're just going to be getting a certain point and then it's going to be grinding and grinding and grinding. And you don't understand why it doesn't just take off. So today is the key element that gets it to take off without you at some point so that you can work your way out of a job and have the freedom and lifestyle that you, you want to create. And if this is the funnest, if you're having more fun doing this, or anything else, keep doing it. But at least you will have bought your life back because your team will grow with or without you in not one team because you got fortunate, but in multiple teams so that you can create a growing income 
as you enjoy your freedom and your lifestyle. Wouldn't that be nice? So here's the key element. This is the biggest mistake that people make today that causes their organization, other than in their personal system, their personal lead generation, their personal recruiting process. Ultimately, it has to be not about you. Ultimately, at some point, it needs to be more about what your team does than what you do. Not in the very beginning, but as soon as possible. You want your team to be bringing in many, 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 many people more than you do or more than you can possibly be able to do with or without you even having even being around. Like you could disappear on an island and they're bringing in more and more people all the time. If you get this right, this is the one that's going to produce for you. This could be, other than day 15, the campfire, this could be the second most important podcast episode we have ever done. Campfire, then probably today, would be number two. And that is how to get duplication. Because what most people do is they bring people in and they train and they train. Listen, the good ones train. There's so many people bring people in and just ignore their people and hope they get them rich. But the mediocre, the the average people, the majority of people in network marketing will bring people in and get them trained. Whether they have a system for training them or whether they do it themselves, ultimately they try to train them, which is a good idea. But see, what you're doing is you're making the french fries the burger. You're making, you know, the croutons the salad. That should supplement what I'm about to say, not be in replace of what I'm about to say. If you want duplication, you have to show them what to do and not tell them what to do. You have to demonstrate how to build the business, not just tell them how to build the business. Not just share how to build, but actually show them. And here's why. Because as we mentioned in yesterday's podcast, the mind works with evaluations and the mind works in images. In images, And if somebody has never built a successful organization before, they may not be able to image the process and how it's supposed to be. They may have, uh, you know, like parts of the image filled in, But for some reason, their mind has never seen an example of what it really looks like in real life. And they're not connecting the dots. So they hesitate. See, because when people are confused, they do nothing. I'll say it again. When people are confused at any level, they tend to lock up and do nothing. Hence, your organization is doing nothing because they don't have the dots connected. Because you have not demonstrated something they can see. You've only told them and told them and told them elements of what they need to do. But until they see, let's say, the four bases, you know, building a list connecting with that list and asking a good prospecting question. How to get them in front of a presentation and what to say right after. And then getting them started. As an example of four bases, you know, the three bases and then going home and then repeating the cycle. And you could teach all four bases, but until they see how you connect the bases together in a real life example, they will hesitate Therefore, you have an organization of a dozen, five, ten, a dozen, three hundred, seven hundred people because of sheer effort that's not duplicating. And that is the reason nothing is happening. And it feels like to you, it may, you may get to a point where it just doesn't work. People don't want to do anything. The fault is not them. The fault is in you, the leader that has not demonstrated and connected the dots in their mind. You need to get with every willing person who says and demonstrates because they do their tasks. They do their assignments. They follow through on your suggestions and you reward them and celebrate them because they did. You need to get with every one of those you can and demonstrate the process. See, legend Bill Britt used to say, I do for someone, I I book five to seven nights building the business with somebody. He said it over and over and over and over again with each individual person, five to seven nights he books in his calendar with the person building the, that's out there, that's making phone calls with them. That's going 
to do the meetings for them or the one-on-one -on -one presentation or the two-on-one -on -one presentations for them. That's out in between the meetings and after the meetings, go and grab in some coffee and cold co or go and dream build it and cold contact with someone and teaching them and showing them how to approach somebody the right way and get their number. Now that's a little old school, but it still works. But he demonstrated the full process of how they built the business at the time and many still do, that still works. That's still something never to ignore if you do it with class, honor, and, 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 and normalcy, right? And, and normalcy. He demonstrated it. He said, after five to seven nights, I see if they're building the business. If they're building the business, he said, I keep working with them and their team. If they're not building the business, I go replace them. I find somebody else because he's given them ample time to get it. See, some people you can show them and show them and nothing happens. But that's where you give the assignment, the leadership test. We talked about that early on. That, in part, is what's covered on day, four, uh, day 14. If people are willing to do their assignment, it proves they're willing to take action. They have the desire to take action. They're not just, you know, telling you what you want to hear because they've backed it up with some action. They're investing themselves by taking action when you're not there. And they're proving themselves to be coachable. Those people, you want to invest time demonstrating how to do the business. Five to seven nights, five to seven days, five to seven get-togethers. Now watch this. It works easier and better when you're local. It works easier and better when you can get to them with your car. However, it can still be demonstrated online. Maybe not as well. Maybe it's not as efficient. Maybe it's not as good of a demonstration, but you can still pick up the phone, call with them, three-way calling, talk to their friends, talk to their prospects, ask the right questions, invite to the, a certain presentation, ask the why would you at the beginning, let them hear the, those people see or hear the presentation, and then ask your closing question, like you know, whatever your team teaches, your leaders teach. Like for me, have you seen anything here in the last 15 minutes that interests you enough that you'd like more information? And be silent till they say Yes or no? If it's no, we move on. Say less to more people. If it's yes, then we take it to the next step and have your process of getting them started. But until you demonstrate that and they can see it at least once, but once is often not enough, over and over and over, five to seven nights, Bill Britt built an organization of well over two million people. Last I heard, it was 2.3 million people. And that was like... Uh, uh, 10 years before he died around the world and leaders in many many countries by teaching this example of you want to get things going you show them what to do you don't tell them now do you tell them do you treat teach do you have super saturdays do you have training calls do you do all these events do you have training materials and courses you recommend and books to read absolutely but again that is the crouton that is not the salad. That's the dressing. That's not the salad. That's the french fries. That's not the burger. That's the supplement. That's not the main course. And if you sprinkle that on, you're going to have better success than if you just show them and, and leave. You want a system to plug people into because there are those rare people who will connect the dots without you having to demonstrate fully. So you want to have those events and have those things for your entire team. For those who are really eager, who will lock in and aggressively be a student of the system, they will eventually figure it out, some people by themselves. And you won't have to do it with everybody. But the only predictable guaranteed way it'll work is if you put in enough people until a few people are doing their assignments and then you demonstrate and teach them and then stay in touch. That twice a week communication is so vital because it keeps them watered, it keeps them fed while they're getting started and while they're getting results. See, in the beginning, they're more fragile and they need that communication, that watering, and that constant drip of building belief all along the way. But unless you start by demonstrating the business and connect the dots with an image example of how it really is supposed to look, so they say, oh, that's how it works. I get it, I see unless you can get them to that point where unconsciously or consciously they're saying, 
Oh, okay, I get it now. Then you are not, you can water, 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 water till the cows come home and it's gonna be that very rare one that'll do it and figure it out on their own. So you wanna waste your time, do this conveniently. If you want the bear, bear the fruit and really get some results in your business, then you have to inconvenience yourself in the short term to be convenienced for the rest of your life by buying your life back and no longer being a slave to the dollar bill. You want the, to, to get the, 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 the yoke of the dollar bill, the yoke of time burden trading hours for dollars for the rest of your life, being a slave to money and letting money take up all your time of your life so that your life is just nothing but earning money because you, you have to have it and because, you know, for whatever reason, life works better with it. Or do you want for once and all, for all to solve that problem in your life and be in that upper echelon of people in the history of mankind to no longer be under the yoke of the need to earn money day in and day out so that you've earned it once and you get paid and have that lifestyle for the rest of your life. And not only for you, it's a legacy for your children, your children's children. See, the Bible talks about a good man will leave an inheritance for his children's children. And you now know a way to do it. So that scripture is now, it's on you what you do with it. It's on you, but this is a way to fulfill it. So that's today's podcast. You can either be inconvenienced for a little while, clear your schedule, drive some miles, do some things, or demonstrate, book more time with each individual that does their assignments, not the ones that don't, and get duplication in your organization, or you can stay stuck the rest of your life and be a slave to the dollar bill and think maybe why does not network marketing work for me? Because you were trying to be too convenient about how you build it. You need to cut out some other activities, communicate with your family, say, I'm not gonna golf. I'm not gonna watch the show all the time. I'm not gonna be able to do everything. I'm not going to church on Wednesday night because I have to take care of my family first. That's not replacing God. That's replacing extra activities that are not bearing fruit in your life. See, until you're a free man, you're not really a free man. Until you're a free woman, you're not really a free woman. And the stress of the dollar bill will burden your, your health, will burden your family. Hey, wor working for the dollar bill and money challenges are the number one cause of divorce. If you love your life and if you're trying to solve problems in your life, the one way that you can solve a whole bunch at one time instead of peace here, peace there, with one energy is to get residual income enough to take and buy your life back. And the way you do that is to inconvenience yourself for a little period of time and demonstrate how to build the business, not just talk how. That's day 38, Duplication Magic Part 2. And I appreciate you so much. Please go back and listen to this again and share this with your leaders so that they are willing to inconvenience themselves and get duplication too, because it's not just about what you do, it's about what they do when they're actually in motion. With that, I thank you for joining me in the journey. Until next episode, this is Rome Bachelor, and I sincerely appreciate you. Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 Days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.